All right, descent number three at Jackass. This is the uh, trail bike, enduro bike, paradise trail, I think. It's got all these sweet jumps, some small gaps, which if you watch people go over them, they're not really that big, but if you try them, they feel monstrous. At least for me, Mr. Cross Country here on a cross country bike, it can, um, feel really daunting. I think the thing to keep in mind when you're doing these trails, if they're scaring you, is just kind of rinse and repeat the same section or the trail that kind of makes you uh, nervous, anxious, scared. I mean, it all kind of comes up, even as we start thinking about these certain sections of these trails and just doing them over and over again, just letting you naturally get more um, comfortable. I think it's key rather than pushing beyond your limits, because if you do that and crash, you're gonna go like below zero in confidence and that's when you get hurt. So that's what I'm doing today. Just kind of doing this trail because this is what challenges me in a lot of mountain bike events is these quick twisty turns with um, different like kicks and jumps and, and gaps and everything, which I'm not even there yet, but hopefully we'll get there. And eventually I can keep up with these uh, downhill bikers or enduro riders and trail bikers that have uh, probably 50 mil travel more than me. But at least I get on the uphill. That's something, right? a good good fun descent third time I fell of course I think the most comfortable and down so trying to go too crazy on your first couple attempts on descents or just riding in general you new know, on new trails take your time and have fun enjoy it because the anxiety and if you're scared out here you're probably not gonna want to do it again so when you're mountain biking have a good time and just uh, let your natural abilities kind of dictate how fast or slow you go. It really doesn't matter. I don't think any of us out here are trying to go for Olympic medals on this back up home it's always a jaunt to get back up in the Tahoe Donner about 900 feet so these endurance kind of like adrenaline style sports it's interesting because you do have to mix um, endurance like running a marathon which doesn't really take any skill um, but with like an actual skill involved with mountain biking because there is a danger involved. That's why we wear these chrome domes, you know, protect our noggins, glasses to protect our eyes from 
dirt and then the sunlight of course yeah you know, maybe you need knee pads if you're that extreme but it is tough to you know maintain that level of endurance and that control while you're going over technical terrain which I think is why a lot of people kind of navigate more towards running because the technicalities isn't there the only problem with that is you're going to have overuse problems from your knees your hips it's just not like a longevity sport like cycling is it's low impact yeah you could crash but as you're getting out there and just doing more rides the more confidence you're going to build and you're going to feel so much better out there you're going to have more fun so long story short sometimes it's just about getting out there even though you're not having a great time just knowing that in the future you're probably going to have a lot more fun you know as you get better at it and you gain confidence and it's just a slog in the beginning and it's probably gonna be like that every time a new season comes around you know like if you're having this gig all summer and then you get on the skis it's gonna take a day or two to kind of get that feeling back and the same with riding a bike especially say a mountain bike um, it's just gonna take a little bit to kind of get back in you know I've been riding my road bike a ton but I can tell like the muscles are totally different on the mountain bike and it's a, a new ball game that's much different instead of finesse it's more strength based and because of that my lower back definitely feels it well anyways um, let's get back up this climb get back home you can I can just tell in the weather that tomorrow is gonna be another winter storm maybe uh, a day to hit the slopes out there How we've been you know one day we get a storm so i go skiing and the next day it's sunny like this so i get on the bike and no matter what you know i think the idea is just to get out there and keep exercising and doing something that you enjoy and even if you don't enjoy it but you think you might in the future just keep at it keep going